Hi friend, if you've just picked up the new Remarkable Paper Pro Move, you're probably wondering how to get the most out of it. And you're in the right place, because today I'm sharing 13 tips and tricks that will take your Remarkable experience to the next level. And the best part? These tips work not just on the Move, but also on the Paper Pro, since both of them use the same software. It doesn't matter if this is your first time using Remarkable, or if you already use the Paper Pro and got the Move as a smaller, more portable addition. I'm sure you will find something new and useful here. Whether you're taking notes, sketching, organizing your ideas, or even reading, there are plenty of ways to get more out of this device. So let's jump right in. Tip number one is to enable light sleep to lock the display. This is a really handy feature that lets you freeze the current page on the screen, like your daily planner or a to-do list, while using almost no battery. To set it up, head into settings, then general settings. Under battery, enable standby and set it to five minutes. After that, go to display and switch on the visible content option. Once that's done, the page you leave open will stay visible even when the device go into light sleep. It's really perfect if you want to keep something important in view all day, like a calendar, your to-do list or a habit tracker, without worrying about power use. Tip number two is to use the select below gesture. This lets you quickly grab everything written or typed under a line with just one move. Here's how it works. In any notebook, choose the selection tool and draw a straight horizontal line. Then keep the pen pressed on the screen. A small button will pop up that says select below. Tap it and everything under that line will be selected. I find it very useful if I want to move or format big chunks of notes all at once or if I use divider lines to separate section on a page. Instead of selecting things one by one, this trick makes it quick and easy to select it all. Tip number three is snapping your drawn line straight. If you draw a line by hand and then hold the pen tip still at the end, the line will automatically straighten itself. You can then drag the end point to adjust its length or angle. On top of that, you can also use the same trick for shapes. Firstly, make sure the shapes are enabled. Then just draw a circle, square, rectangle or triangle and hold the pen in place at the end. The shape will clean up automatically and you will be able to resize or rotate it as needed. Tip number four is numbering folders for custom ordering. By default, folders on Remarkable always sort alphabetically, which isn't always the order you may want. The simple fix is to add numbers or letters in front of the folder names. For example, naming them number one work and number two personal will make sure they appear in that order every single time. This way you can organize your folders in the exact sequence that makes sense to you instead of being stuck with a, a to Z sorting. Before we move on, if this video is helpful to you, please like and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate your support. Tip number five is inserting templated note pages into PDFs. While you're reading a PDF or an ebook, you can actually drop in a blank page with a template so you can take notes right inside the document. To do it, tap the gear icon in the document settings and choose add note page. Then pick any of the built-in templates like a grid lined paper, a Kanban board or even music stuff. A blank page with that template will be added into the PDF exactly where you are, making it super easy to keep your notes and reading all in one place. Tip number six is manually adjusting PDF contrast. Sometimes a PDF can look a bit washed out or certain colors don't show up clearly on the screen. To fix this, open the document setting while viewing the PDF and then go to adjust view and increase contrast. Select full page. This is especially helpful for pale scans or text in dark colors that don't display very well. Tip number seven is adjusting the column width for typed text. By default, when you use the text tool, it gives you a narrow column to type in. If you want more room, just tap text in the toolbar and switch to wide column. This stretches the text area across more of the page, which is great if you're typing a lot or plan to view the notes on another device or in landscape mode. And if you prefer having extra space in the margins for handwriting or annotations, you can always switch back to the narrow column. Tip number eight is selecting type text with tabs and holds. There are a few simple gestures that make this really easy. First, switch to the selection tool and tap twice on the text to enter typing mode. From there, double tapping on a word will highlight it. If you keep holding and drag, you can select more words or even full paragraphs. Additionally, triple tapping highlights the whole line and four taps will select all the text in that area. 
Once the text is selected, you can cut it, copy it, or change the formatting just like you normally would. And here's a bonus tip. With the newest software update, you can now add checkboxes that can be ticked on and off, which is perfect for planners or habit trackers. Tip number nine is tapping hyperlinks in PDFs with your finger. If a PDF has a clickable links like a table of contents or a digital planner, you can simply tap them with your fingertip to jump straight to the link page. It's important to use your finger here because if you try it with the stylus, it will just draw on the page instead of opening the link. This works not only for tables of content, but also for any internal links in planners or templates. And by the way, I've made some free hyperlinked templates for Remarkable that also work with the move. So they include weekly planners, habit trackers, and blank dotted pages. And if you'd like to try them out for completely free, I've left a link in the description. Tip number 10 is favoriting files for quick access. You can start important notebooks or PDFs so they appear as favorites. Then, whenever you want to reach them quickly, just swipe down from the top of the screen with two fingers to open the recent favorites drawer. Your starred files will show up right at the top, giving you one swipe access without having to dig through folders. Tip number 11 is setting a shorter or longer passcode. Head into settings, then security, and you can choose a four, six, or eight digit pin. A four digit pin unlocks quickly, while an eight digit pin is more secure. Many people choose six digits as it's a good balance. It's a little slower to enter, but adds extra protection. Remember, your passcode secures all the notes and documents on your device. So if privacy is important to you and it's a portable device, a longer pin can be worth it. Tip number 12 is adjusting the reading light using quick settings. To change the front light brightness, open the quick settings menu by tapping the battery icon or swiping down from the upper right corner. There, you will see a slider for the reading light. You can dim or brighten it on the fly, but just keep in mind bright uses more battery while lower light saves power. There's also an extra bright feature if you need maximum light. To turn this on quickly, press and hold the brightness icon from the quick settings menu, which opens display settings, and then enable extra bright. The last tip is using ReCalendar, a free and open source calendar generator for remarkable tablets. With it, you can create custom calendars directly in your browser and then download them as PDFs to upload to your device. I honestly found this tool a few months ago and I'm not affiliated with the creator, Igor Klimer, but it's a really handy way to make personalized calendars with hyperlinks and it's completely free. And it works especially well on larger screens like the Paper Pro or Remarkable 2, but you can also set custom resolution and DPI for the move and it displays stuff nicely. You may need few minutes to tweak it, but in the end you will have a fully customized calendar and again, it's completely free. I've left a link in the description if you want to check it out. I hope you found these tips helpful and that they add a little extra convenience and productivity to your remarkable experience. And if you have any cool tips or tricks for the move that I didn't cover, please share them in the comments below so we can share it with everyone. Hey, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me more, you can subscribe to the YouTube membership like all those awesome people right here. I appreciate your support. But that's not all. If you want to learn more about the move, check out my full in-depth review where I talk about one big issue, the battery, that makes me question whether I should return it or not. And if you want a long-term review of the Paper Pro, I've done that too and share a few extra useful details in the video right here. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!